Well, we are in our kitchen this morning celebrating the countdown to our Christmas extravaganza here on Espresso, which culminates on the 21st of December. So we thought it apt to use one of the famous Christmas carols that goes on the third day of Christmas. My true love sent to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. This morning we are going to be making a French hen, but before we do that, we're actually going to be making a very delicious stuffing that goes into that. And to help us do that is Chef Michael, our Thanks. chef extraordinaire. How could we do this without you? How are uh, you, Chef Michael? I'm good, thank you, and you? Very, very well, thank you. It's good smelling day. delicious. So how do we make our well, stuffing this morning? we've got some onions going here, and we want to get them just sort of turning. And then I'm going to put the garlic in, because you, you, you want to get the garlic cooked, but you don't want it to burn. And then we get the temperature really nice and up, and then we pop in the chicken livers. Now, go. what you want to do here is you want to just simply brown your chicken livers. Yep. You don't want to you don't want to cook them through because obviously they're going to cook through in the that's right um, in the in the stuffing. Oh, right, absolutely so we incredible. cook them and then when done, we land up with the the chicken livers and the onions here. Very nice. Then we add some rice. Okay. This is basmati rice. You can you can use um, breadcrumbs if you like. And then we've got some herbs. We've got we've got thyme, marjoram, and parsley. Why have you chosen to, to use rice though? Um, just because I think it's different. Mm. Why most, is it different? Most people will have um, sort of more traditional um, breadcrumb stuffings at Christmas time yeah. or pork sausage stuffings, and this one's just. Different. Very, very nice. And then you've got some thyme in there, which will give it a nice sort of wild flavour. Some snipped dried apricots. Oh, my favourite. Oh, I love these. And then some of these lovely um, sultanas from the Orange River. Oh. We just get these wonderful, wonderful dried fruits from the... Yeah from the Orange River. I can just imagine what the stuffing's going to taste like oh, with all of these delicious. ingredients put together. And then we put in some, some nice coarse, coarse grain salt. There we go. And a good, a good grind of pepper. And there you are. And you can, if you like, you can add a splash of olive oil to it just to, to pull it all together. But you don't really need to. Okay, wonderful. While so, you're mixing that up, if you would like the ingredients list for our delicious Turkish stuffing that we're making this morning, all you have to do is SMS the word HEN, H-E-N, to 33728, and we will pass that along to you. There we are. So that's it. So that's our stuffing oh, all ready and done. Now all we have to do in the next little segment is to pop it inside there. Well, we will be right back. We're making Cornish hens after that, and that stuffing is going to go right inside. It can't wait. It looks absolutely delicious. We'll see you right back after the break. Everything's wrapped with goodness and prepared with pride to bring you all our best this Christmas. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Well, we are back in our espresso kitchen this morning on your feel-good breakfast show. We are making Cornish hens with Turkish stuffing. The kitchen smells amazing, by the way, and Chef Michael's going to tell us exactly what we need to make this happen. Good. Well, we've got our stuffing, which we made a couple of minutes ago, yes. and here we've got our Cornish hen. Mm -hmm. Now, I think what one needs to do is you just need to get your hand up underneath the skin and okay. then just gently move the skin away from the breast All right, make some room. because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put as much stuffing oh, in here as possible because what I like to do is I like to keep the inside of the of the bird free okay because I thought you were going to pop it on so the inside the, yeah well the thing is that you can do that but then you just have to be very careful with the cooking because it actually in a way prevents heat from from going into the into the bird oh. So you have to be quite careful. All right. right. So you could so end up having a raw bird, but you with could, lots of stuffing. You could, you could end up having, a, and and your stuffing not cooked, and your <laughs> okay. your chicken liver is still pink. <laughs> That's not good. All right. So you're just popping it underneath the just skin. Just pushing there. it underneath. All and right. what it's going to do, it's also going to, in a way, it's going to base the, um, it's going to base the breast meat, which is normally, which is normally the quite dry. Yeah. So. So is it in the cavity and under the skin? Or are you popping it inside as well? I'm going to, well, let's just see how we go in terms of, of quantity. Okay. Because I think we're going to be able to get most of this into here. <laughs> and as you were saying, it gives the, the breast some nice moisture Absolutely. there too, hey? Yeah. Lovely. So, 
There we go. Well, this gives new meaning to getting your hands dirty in the kitchen. Does it eh? not? Yeah. <laughs> so you can't. One thing you can't be afraid of is getting your hands dirty. Definitely dirty. not. So then we just want to pull it down over like that. So there this, we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just pull the wings. Wow. Pull the wings back because the wings then, in a way, hold the. Look at that. Hold the uh, hold the neck skin back. There. Okay. Lovely. So there we go. Now. What we need to do now is, is to prepare the bird for the roasting dish. Yes. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, I, I fairly recently learned, um, when I funny enough when I was doing a leg of lamb, that this is a fantastic way of making sure that you have a really good mm -hmm. gravy. <clears throat> so, got, um, onion. Yes. A couple of cloves of garlic. They go also nice and sweet and, yes, and yes, mushy. Yes. And then some red wine. Oh, lovely. Now, you don't have to use wine if you don't want to. Okay. You can just use more stock. All right. But it just gives it a nice bit of oomph. That's going to caramelise really nicely there as and well. And then some, this is some chicken stock. Some chicken stock. So that's the basis for your, for your gravy. Now what we want to do is, we want to have Ooh, some fun here la with la. the butter. Um, <sighs> what you want to do is you want to rub this um, over the bird. Yeah. And then... Look at that, that looks quite exquisite. That's going to be very, very yummy. Now, the other thing that I like to do is I like to actually season the bird on the board okay. rather than in the roasting pan because um, you, you sometimes you have a lot of extraneous salt yeah. which goes into the sauce, which of course you don't necessarily want. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Season that baby. Some well, nice grindy pepper. While you're doing that, I have some very, very interesting information to give you. Of course, if you would like the ingredients list for this recipe, all you have to do is SMS the word HEN to 33728, and we will send you your pick and pay ingredients list as well as, of course, the recipe to 33728. But pick and pay is also giving away 1 million smart shopper points this festive season. And in order to get those points, all you have to do is guess. It's as easy as that. You need to guess how many points we, as a Espresso have on our card. Now the clue this morning that we're going to help you out with is Cornish hens are 32 rand 99. Here's the clue. With all of our points, you can buy 36 kilograms of Cornish hens. Huh? If you do the maths there, you'll know exactly how much points we have. SMS the keyword SMART plus your answer and your name to uh, and Smart Shopper and your Smart Shopper card number to 33728 and those Smart Shopper points could very well be yours. All right, so we're going to be popping this in the oven and we are going to show you exactly what this beautiful, beautiful turkey, I mean, not turkey, but corn oh, chef, looks like. Thank you so much, Chef Michael. Shall I pop this in? Yeah, absolutely. I've just okay. tied the legs together there. That's called... Wonderful. I'll that's do that for trusty. you. Over to Graham and Kat. Wow, it's heavy. Oh. We've got your celebrations all wrapped up with savings, value and all our best this Christmas. Pick and pay. Always there for you.